What is happening everyone? In today's video, we'll walk you through exactly what are dynamic creative Facebook ads, how does it work and why you should be using that. And lastly, I will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create a Facebook ad campaign with a dynamic creative ad. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. All right, so first things first, what are exactly dynamic creative ads and how exactly does it work? So essentially dynamic creatives are a very similar version to Google ads. On Google ads, they rotate between headlines, descriptions, stuff like that and on Facebook ads they rotate that between images ad copies headlines and so on this is really good for people that really like massive testing like myself I'm trying to test any single thing under the Sun just to make sure that I maximize my clients results so I basically use this feature all the time so here's a quick example over here to a Facebook ad dynamic creative so as you can see over here this is for example ad number one which uses ad copy number one image number one and headline number one Ad number two is still using ad copy one, but over here it uses image two and it still uses headline one. And the third ad is using ad copy number two, written image number three, but this is the same one, so it's image two. But here we use headline number two. So essentially Facebook just going to rotate those things to be able to find the best combination. Why exactly should we be using that besides just testing? I think besides the fact that it's very convenient for testing, one of the most important benefits of using this feature is that it decreases your exposure to risk your account and get it restricted so let's say you want to build out a campaign and test out five different ad creatives and three different ad copies that means that you will be creating 15 different ads for a single ad set and let's say you want to test out three different ad sets so you multiply it by three and that means 45 different ads that you should be testing now let's say something is wrong with your ads and it will get rejected for some reason maybe you didn't comply with one of the Facebook guidelines rules that means that you have potentially 45 different ads getting rejected and it's not that it's just going to hurt your ad account overall there is a very high chance that you will get your ad account restricted permanently and then pretty much you will be finished before even getting started all right so now let's go ahead and create our first campaign with a dynamic creative ad so we're just going to create a campaign as we normally would so let's go ahead and click create now one thing that you need to know is that you can use dynamic creative ad only if you're going to set up either a leads campaign or sales campaign so for example if you're going to use an engagement campaign you will not be able to use the dynamic creative feature so for this example let's go ahead and select leads and click continue I will select menu leads campaign click continue and all the rest of the campaign setup is pretty much the same but what you need to keep in mind is that on the ad set level this is where we are going to turn on the feature of dynamic creative so if we scroll down till this part over here where it says dynamic creative Creative. so we want to make sure that we turn this feature on and hit continue and now if we will jump to our ad level over here this is where we'll be able to select all of our images and videos now one cool thing is that in the past you could only choose ad creatives from one format so let's say if you wanted to test out images you could only choose up to 10 different images and if you wanted to use videos you could only select videos but nowadays you can select both images and videos with that being said I personally do like like to test out images and videos in separate campaigns but this is totally up to your own decision so let's go ahead and select our ad creatives so we'll click on select images and then we'll click on upload and now let's go ahead and select our ads over here the creatives and click continue and as I mentioned before you can upload up to 10 different ad creatives now let's scroll down where it says primary text which is our ad copy and let's paste our first ad copy so this is going to be ad copy one and then we'll click add text option and we'll paste ad copy two and here you can add up to five different ad copies same goes for the headline so i'll be using just the ai generated headlines just to make it a little bit faster so let's go ahead and select that and that and lastly is going to be our call to action button and we can go ahead and click book now in some cases you can select multiple call to action buttons i believe it varies between different ad accounts or different campaign objectives every time i'm working on a different ads manager of a client or a student every ads manager looks a a little bit different from each other so if you do have this option make sure to try out different call to action buttons now the cool thing is that as I mentioned before you will only going to be having one ad so this ad is going to contain all of your marketing materials in one ad so we can call it dynamic creative number one and then you can simply just go ahead and duplicate this ad set with the dynamic creative in it already and test out this dynamic creative between multiple different ad sets one thing before we finish up I want to show you exactly 
how you can track the data and see which elements are performing the best in your dynamic creative ad. So what you need to do is to go ahead and select the campaign that you want to check the data for and then you want to go to the ad level and over here you have the breakdown tab over here you want to click on it and you will want to scroll down until it says by dynamic creative element and over here you can go ahead and select image video or slideshow and this is essentially going to give you the data about which ad creative actually brought you the lead or any different data that you want to measure and the same thing goes for the text which is our ad copy and here you can see exactly which ad copy is performing the best and then you can build your future ads based on the most converting elements in your first dynamic creative ad all right guys this is pretty much all for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to drop a like and comment down below let me know what else you want me to cover on my channel what type of videos you want me to create about facebook ads and lastly if you haven't subscribed to the channel already make sure you do thank you so much for watching guys and until the next one peace <music>